I'll pitch it over to Donnie. Did you know that your skin is considered to be the largest organ of your body? It's true. Ask your doctor next time you see him. Your skin is very important to your immune system. So you want to make sure that it is as healthy and whole as it can be. And it's also very important to the detoxification process in your body. Now your liver, your kidneys, your digestive system takes care of most of that. But your skin also helps to detox those things that we can get into that our body doesn't really recognize like chemical compounds and things that are in our personal care products as well as foods that we eat and environmental toxins that we might be exposed to both at home and at the workplace. So today I'm going to give you a really easy recipe for a detoxifying bath and it's wonderful. It also will help to soothe your muscles and help soothe you into a nice restful sleep. And I know a lot of people don't like to take baths, but this is something that you might want to consider doing maybe once a month or once every other week. Lots of people like to take showers, but to really get a good detox, you've got to get a really good soak. So the first thing you want to do is start with the bath water as hot as you can possibly get it. And you want to fill it up full enough to where you can soak all the way up to your neck. So you might want to get one of those little plugs that you can put over the outlet so you can fill it up really full without overflowing it. And then some of these ingredients you may already have in your pantry or in your kitchen, but if not, they're very easy to find at local grocery stores and at local pharmacies. So the first thing you're going to start with is Epsom salt. Now we've used Epsom salt for years for sore muscles and to help lull you into a nice sleep, but Epsom salt will also help to detox your body. So you want to start with about two cups of Epsom salt. Then you want to add about a half a cup of baking soda. Most of us already have baking soda in the pantry. Then you want to add about a half a cup of pink Himalayan salt. Now this is actually a bath salt that has coconut oil in it. You don't have to get that fancy. Just get you some pink Himalayan salt. It's available at local HEB and Kroger stores. Then you want to add a few drops of each of these essential oils. And again, these essential oils are easy to find too. Most pharmacies carry them as well as some of the local grocery stores. A few drops of lavender oil, a few drops of rosemary oil, and a few drops of tea tree oil. So all of these ingredients together, you want to put them in that really, really hot bath water, kind of swirl it around a little bit, make sure that the salts start to dissolve. And then you want to soak in it again up to your neck for about 15 minutes. Now that hot water is going to make your pores open up and all of these ingredients together with the hot water are going to start to draw those toxins out of your body through your skin. Now the last thing is after that 15 minute soak when you get out you don't want to rub yourself off with a towel. You want to kind of pat yourself dry because you don't want to rub those toxins back into your body. For more information on this subject and others that will keep your family healthy please visit my website at fitnessnutritionconsulting.com and link over to my Facebook page for even more information.